Okay, so hi Pratham. Uh, Pratham is a student of Chobaj Learnings and the Corporate Training Learning Program. And I have invited Pratham for this meeting so that we can capture uh, his experience. He has been placed as a financial analyst uh, currently. Uh, so we will capture his experience and what were the questions asked in our interview, etc. Uh, so Pratham, first of all, uh, I would want you to tell our viewers uh, your educational background. Uh, thank you, sir, for, for providing me this opportunity. Uh, myself, Pratman, I am currently pursuing BCom honors from Gymtech, and uh, I am completing my schooling from Balkan Public International School. Okay, so you are basically from the finance background, and you are yet to complete your BCom honors, right? Right. Sir. So you will be completing in this year only, right? Okay, so uh, Pratham, can you also tell us about uh, the company in which you got placed and the position? So recently, a month back, it was my first interview and there was around uh, 150 students with whom I'm completing. And the company name is Planify. And it's located in Gurugram and the position we are completing with is financial analyst. Okay, so uh, how many rounds of interview were there for this company? There were four rounds. Uh, the first one is aptitude test with whom uh, all of us have to give the paper. Uh, all of us has cracked this paper. The second round was HR round. Uh, in this round, we, if we may ask about uh, our introduction, our background, uh, what skills we have, uh, did we have any past experience? Okay. So sorry to cut you off. I will just focus on the first round, which is aptitude. So <clears throat> many a times, most of the students who are in college, they have to go through that aptitude round. So what kind of preparation you did for the aptitude round? Uh, frankly saying, I didn't prepare for aptitude test. Uh, we didn't expect that it was uh, there. It was uh, just for surprise uh, for us. And uh, I think uh, it's basic questions of mathematics and LR, some uh, verbal English, and some short of uh, general knowledge. Okay. So you were talking about your second round, the HR round, right? So, so what were the questions was, they asked in the second round? Second round, uh, round was, was like about introduction of a work experience or background. Uh, what skills do you have and what had you completing right now? So, uh, so what that are was the order. skills? Yeah, what are the skills that you are possessing at this point of time? Uh, the time uh, when we see GD of that company, uh, they were mentioned that you required uh, advanced Excel and basic knowledge of SQL. That was mentioned uh, SQL and there was uh, nothing like Python in GD, uh, nothing like Power BI uh, in GD. Advanced Excel, uh, SQL, communication skills, uh, three things they are mainly focusing and uh, strong knowledge of finance, uh, like okay. what is PE, <clears throat> what is ratios, Okay, so basically they need a uh, domain knowledge of finance and then the analytical skills using advanced Excel and SQL, right? That's it. Okay, and uh, what was there in the third and the fourth round? Uh, sir, third round was uh, like testing the communication skills. It was like uh, they set us uh, top two of us in English properly. But uh, frankly saying, I'm not... Uh, expert in english uh, yeah, you don't actually uh, i believe that you don't have to be expert you just have to be decent in your communication skills right i don't have uh, any strong communication in english so but you, I just you try. are speaking you're speaking very good so you mm -hmm. have decent to good communication skills uh, thank you sir. i just tried my best key uh, like uh, i can do i can do i can do right. i can only try uh, i don't know uh, what's the impression I made on him. Uh, the third round was about communication skills. Uh, after that, the fourth round was like uh, with my manager, manager of Planify. Uh, the final round, it was with her. Uh, okay. She was very 
uh, she was very rude <laughs> and uh, i don't know how to deal it's because of my first interview i just like sit uh, she asked me question and uh, somehow i um, 50% of question i don't know i uh, directly uh, tell her that i don't know so uh, no that is also one good thing if you don't know something you have to uh, you know you can't fake it you just have to say you don't know but uh, what were those questions like which you find difficult or you rude as you said uh, it was like f- uh, finance questions uh, i don't know how to tackle uh, because i am not prepared for that and uh, yeah, so what were those questions like related to what uh, they asked me how to complete company's valuation Okay. how do you find it uh, the way i answered uh, he said no it's incorrect and then i then i answer, uh, then i say uh, no ma'am yeah, i don't so, know so what were the other questions like uh, because if you are going for a financial analytics role a lot of people aspire to go for the financial analytics role so apart from the analytical skills they should also be good at the finance thing and as you said that one of the question was evaluating the company val- valuation right so what were the other questions related to finance uh no uh, they didn't ask me finance question too much uh, they directly said uh, speak about your five strengths and five weaknesses okay, okay. then uh, i said one two three of my strengths one two three of my weaknesses but i didn't complete five uh, i think i have yeah, so that, prepared that, for mm-hmm. five five mm-hmm. Uh, because we don't know five exactly we said one we said two we said third after fourth uh, we are blank we don't have anything to tell mm-hmm. uh, that's fine that's fine so what were the questions asked in your uh, excel right as far as excel uh, questions were concerned uh, they gave me a paper in which questions are mentioned or well, we have to do solution in less than 15, 20 or 15 minutes the time period of 15 and 20 minutes there was two large questions we have to do uh, is so that, what were those questions like uh in, in that questions we have to do conditional formatting mm. uh, it carries around 4 marks out of 10 conditional formatting for a single question and format printer what is format printer how do we use that and uh, if we have large excel file how do we print that okay in such a way that we didn't miss anything and it should be readable it's just not too small as the file is too large okay so it was a carrying six marks print okay question and the uh, second question in which a uh, format printer editing text editing insert uh, inserting photos basic excel questions that were there okay. <clears throat> so were there questions related to pivot table or modeling in excel they just asked me about pivot tables that okay. how do we insert that how it help us uh, no question for tables okay and how do you build charts in excel were there questions related to uh, uh, when they asked me about pivot tables uh, they asked me about charts with that okay and uh, about some formulas and functions or macros no okay yes. and what were the questions related to sql sql uh, they just asked me that uh, i i just told her that i have only knowledge uh, in working of database in tables i okay. don't uh, have any other knowledge on sql so they asked me how to use functions in sql uh, what were the constraints they asked me uh, what is the difference between primary key and foreign key they asked me that question and then i replied uh, i have watched your uh, videos and i have strong knowledge of that so i answered all that questions okay okay got it okay. they are so, main focusing okay. on introduction you have weaknesses what you think that uh, how do you see yourself after 2 years so uh, that question i have prepared uh, in my college so i just answered that i want to see myself to uh, 
position up with uh, where i am standing here. okay um got it so uh, what are the skills that you are having right now uh, i am completing advanced excel uh, i am completed sql basic python i'm not uh, go deep in python i have basic knowledge of python and i didn't start power bi till now i didn't okay. complete uh, the course i have taken I didn't okay, complete that. What about pandas? Pan, did you do you have knowledge of pandas? No, no, no I didn't. Uh, okay, <clears throat> okay. I think uh, um, so. I would also ask you last question that uh, what is the recommendation that you will give uh, to the viewers uh, if someone wants to go into the uh, financial analytics domain or analytics domain in general? Uh, when someone goes to in financial uh, analytics domain. Uh, they have a strong knowledge of finance. They ask questions for finance. They have prepared for introduction. Introduction is like that. It's the first impression you have made on them. And every round they ask you, speak about yourself, speak about yourself, tell about yourself. What's your background? How you study? What have your skills? So introduction, we have complete knowledge of introduction, five strengths and five weaknesses. I feel because no, uh, like those those are general questions, right? Mm -hmm. I am asking about uh, in financial analytics domain or in analytics domain. First of all, you said you should have knowledge about finance. Mm -hmm. So when you say that, you mean the ratios of ratios, mm -hmm. okay. uh, how to evaluate balance balance sheets, okay. uh, what are the compositions in income statements, cash flow statements, mm -hmm. what what the uh, keywords that are used. Uh, and in financial analyst or analyst both have a common skill set of advanced excel advanced yeah. excel we use both of them and yeah. i feel that i'm a little bit confused i ask you on this yeah, yeah. that um, yeah, i mean i, I feel that um, whether it is financial analytics or a marketing analyst or hr analyst you just need the domain knowledge and apart from that the analytical skills are you know, they are common like Excel, advanced Excel, uh, macros, pivot table, SQL, uh, Python, pandas, power BI, etc. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so thank you so much, uh, Pratham for attending this and surely, um, your answers and your experience will help the viewers. And I am always available on discord in case you have any question, right. Or any further guidance you need. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your time.